Two Larry Warbass, Aqua Blue Sport Pro Cycling US Pro National Champion. Uh, thanks for being here with us. Yeah, for sure. It's good to be here. Yeah, so right now I'm in Isola 2000 in France. It's, I wouldn't call it exactly a resort. It's sort of like a ski station uh, just outside of Nice. And so I'm doing just the uh, last <clears throat> little block of altitude training before a Tour de Suisse. So yeah, I'll be up here 10 days right now. And I was here a week uh, before the Tour of Norway. So so yeah, just getting last bit uh, of altitude before Tour de Suisse because there's a lot of high altitude stages and finishes. So good to get adapted. I wouldn't say like racing wise that I perform too well at altitude. I you know I've done Tour of Utah quite a few times. I haven't really ever had the best performances there. Um, you know a lot of the bigger teams they do altitude camps, but uh, our team maybe just doesn't quite have the budget. Uh, so yeah, I do my own and. Uh, Right now, I'm here with Ian Boswell, so there's like two of us, so uh, it's pretty nice. Just have some company. And where are you based in Europe during the season? In Nice. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, that's why it's pretty easy to come up here because it's about a 90-minute drive, so it's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, down in Nice, come up here, go back home. It's pretty pretty <laughs> pretty good set setup. You know, you won a stage at Tour de Suisse last year. Um, your first world tour win, a huge win for Aqua Blue Sport. Um, can you take us through kind of uh, what that stage was and um, and <laughs> and uh, and how it went, how how it, how it how it went down? Um, and where, what what was the summit finish that it ended on? So I knew the first mountain top finish, which was stage four, Villar sur would be. A pretty good uh, opportunity, um, especially because Sun Web had the jersey with Michael Matthews, and you know I didn't think they were gonna try to keep it. Uh, I thought maybe there was a chance for the breakaway to go, and uh, yeah, then I got in the breakaway, so that was like you know step number one achieved. And then uh, as soon as I got in the breakaway, I knew as long as we had a certain amount of time by the bottom of the last climb, I, I was pretty sure I could take it because I knew I had uh, good form and. Yeah, sure enough. We didn't actually have as much time as I thought I needed, but uh, I had a really good ride on the last climb, and uh, yeah, I was able to hold off the peloton, so it was pretty yeah. cool. So yeah, it was uh, it was pretty close in the end, but uh, yeah, I mean, I guess 40 seconds isn't as close as uh, it could have been, so, so yeah, it worked out. I always knew I was capable of rides like that, but uh, I guess I never really believed it, uh, and it's just kind of something I think you have to do before you can really believe it yeah doing that made me realize like oh shit you know like i i, I can do this and uh if i hadn't won that stage in swiss i don't think i would have won the nationals because uh it just gave me sort of like this newfound calm confidence and uh yeah when i went to nationals i was like well if i can win a stage in swiss why can't i win here and then uh the way i just raced the race was uh I was just thinking of how, how can I win? How can I get in a situation here where I can win this race? And before that, I would have never, it would have been more like, how can I not lose, you know? And, and so it really sort of changed my mindset. I'm really happy being on this team because I do get my own chances. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a big leader to work for. If you have a big leader on your team, then you're always right in front. Like I was on BMC for two years and it was a great experience, but I mean, the amount of kilometers I did on the front was it was crazy, you know. And uh, so yeah, it's it's been a nice nice change of pace, and uh, I, yeah, I really enjoyed my role here. A lot of the other stages, it seem a little bit more open, like um, it's going to be the racing that sort of decides the winner. Like it, you, you got, the racers are gonna, there's going to be opportunities for a breakaway and um, just lots of interesting dynamics within the route. Absolutely. I mean, so. Yeah, I, I took a brief uh, look at the route, and I, I haven't, you know, like, really looked super closely, but uh, just from looking at the route, it's like, wow, every day could uh, be a breakaway. So I think this year it's just going to be about, yeah, being aggressive and going in the breaks uh, because, you know, one of the days could be, could be it. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of times if there's, like, a, just a pure mountaintop finish, then one of the teams will ride uh to you know if they have one of the best climbers or this or that and uh you know when when they're sort of like in between days you know sometimes they're too hard for the sprinters and then you know not hard enough for the climbers so that gives the breakaway 
a much better chance. Yeah, my next race after Tour de Suisse will be the Nationals. So <clears throat> I'll do the TT and the road race. And, uh, yeah, I'll do everything I can to try to keep the jersey. And I think, you know, being able to do Swiss right before is the best preparation, you know, like a week in between. So that'll be awesome. And then I'll get to spend a bit of time at home before coming back, uh, you know, end of July. If I recall correctly, the road race wasn't super hot. I mean, maybe it was 80 degrees or something, but it wasn't like crazy or anything. TT was hot and that really killed me. Um, but that was also probably had to do a bit with, you know, the travel from Europe as well and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, if it's 100 degrees, then, yeah, I'm in trouble. But uh, yeah. hopefully it's temperate <laughs> and, uh, you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> Coming as an individual rider, you just have to uh, play off the big team. So that was kind of last year. I just said, like, look, OK, like. I have to be willing to lose the race to win it. Um, so, you know, you can't make big efforts yourself because you're one guy. So it's really just being patient and hoping that the race plays into your hands because there's really not much you can do as an individual until you get to the final. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really more of like a racer's race, which yeah. is cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but a- it makes it also not as simple. Cool. Well, uh, thanks a bunch for your time. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Yeah. best of luck at the Tour de Suisse.